When I, this is just me telling you exactly what is going on, okay? Scientists have actually already proven this. I will post the link below. In that link, you will find a study. A study. Okay, I decided to be like, hey, here's the actual thing he's talking about. So, here it is. I'm showing it to you. This is the actual study he's mentioning. Alright, let's have a look at this. Uh, the human brain fires differently w when dealing with people outside of one's own race, according to a new study. Da -da -da. Mirror neural systems, surveys, the scientists, the electrical versus bear, all doesn't all white. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm. If you want to actually read the whole thing, you can just pause the video and you can see it for yourself. But basically, this is the exact thing I was talking about earlier. This is the part of the brain which recognizes, which originally recognizes friend from foe. The reason that uh, its reaction to people of other races is because the, that part of the brain sees them as other because well, just, they look different, don't they? I'm not gonna lie, they, people, it would have been look different. That's why people, why people notice the race in the first place because of visual differences. Doesn't mean they're not human. So treat them the same. Uh, but here's the thing, you can tell that there's actually a bias in this um, study because it's just, just meant all the white. Here's the thing, if they'd actually done that study with other people, if people of all races, then they would have found that the exact same thing happened in all of them. It's, it's just a natural part of the, of the, of the psyche. So... I'm sorry, good sir, but your own study doesn't prove your facts. It actually discredits you somewhat. It's just like, hey, this study is blatantly biased, and if they, it wasn't biased, they would have found that you're talking shit. So, my apologies, but yeah, you feel the shit. Pick up this glass, and I drink. Something in your brain mimics that exact movement, right? In your brain, all the things in your brain that activate when you do that, you do that as well, right? When you see another human being doing that. That is the basis of empathy. That is the basis of human connection. Uh, no, that doesn't have anything to do with empathy at all. Well, not my understanding of it, but maybe your understanding is different, but... You know, that, that, that sounds like horseshit to me, so I'm going to call it out as horseshit. Is that action happening in your brain? That mimicking action in your brain? Okay. Guess what they found out about white people? Nothing. None of those connected things happen. Okay, so where's your evidence for this? The study you linked was nothing to do with that. The study was just like... Hey, look, people whose brains react differently to people of different races. What you're talking about here has absolutely fucking nothing to do with what you're talking about. Absolutely nothing to do with what you're talking about. So, it's again, it sounds like you're just pulling shit out of your ass. You're going to need to provide a another link, uh, because the link you gave before has fuck all to do with what you're talking about. The basis of humanity, the basis of human connectivity, girl, the basis of empathy. White people do not have with other people, especially black people. Citation needed. Girl. Now, since this study has just been done, we don't know if white people never had this connection in their brain. What study? What the fuck are you talking about? The link you gave has absolutely fucking nothing to do with what you're talking about. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. You... You're so stupid. You're just putting shit out of your ass, and it's blatant for all to see. You, you, it's not... 
again, citation goddamn needed. Or if because of colonialism and all the violence that they have put on black bodies, on bodies of people of color and imperialism and this consistent violence and trauma that they put on us, that somehow that connection had to break down and go away or if they never had it to begin with and that's why they could do all those horrible things in history and in present time to black bodies and to people of color. We don't know, I don't care, but they have it now and that's all we need to worry about, okay? And yet, the first American slave owner was in fact black. If, if you're looking at the screen now, you're seeing him, his face. That's Anthony Johnson, the first slave owner in America, who was black. He just said, oh, all white people were, were slave owners. No, black people were slaves as well. It wasn't a thing about race. It was more about money. Rich people could, own, could afford to own people. That was how it was. It's a, it's a misconception. It's a common misconception. But it's still a misconception. Also, you're still pulling shit out of your ass. And you have still yet to provide citation. You are terrible at this. But Gazi, what about my white mom that adopted me? She's so nice. But Gazi, what about my white friends? They're so nice. Gazi, what about my white lover? I love my white lover so going to have to learn to hold them accountable. White people be saying some anti-black shiz- And you're- And you're spouting some anti-white shiz right now. And it's still racism. Racism is racism no matter who says it. I know it's not physically- politically correct to- to talk about this, but it's true. Racism is racism. I'm- if you're gonna be racist to people, I'm gonna call you out on it. And here's the thing, if they're not actively being racist, if you're not actively going, oh, you're, oh, well, shut up, you fucking nigger, then no. No, they're not do they're not being racist. If, so long as they're not actively trying to hurt people or actively being hateful, actively seeking out and purposely being jerks, then no. Why Why should you hold anyone accountable? That's just being racist. For the sake of being racist. It's, it's, it's madness. You're completely and utterly off your goddamn motherfucking rocker. It on every second of the second. If you're not catching it, that's because you're not looking for it. You're not aware enough. You're not conscious enough to it. So you need to become conscious enough to it. Then you need to hold these people accountable to their actions and their words and let them know that yes, you are white. Therefore, you are anti-black. You are naturally racist. You are born into this society. You are born into this pathology. So you need to work against this consistently every day. Understand that you are a parasite invading as you're peeing on American soil that was created by the destruction of the Native American and enslavement of black people. So now you're speak, saying that you speak for all Native American people as well. Well, I doubt they'd agree with you there. Because they were the ones who had their homes destroyed. By people who were long dead. Here's the thing. I, I, well, I want, I'm just, I could sit here for literal days correcting you and point out how much fucking bullshit that is. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter. In the end of the day, all the people who, who involved with that stuff are dead. Let the dead rest. And as for another matter, yes, you wipe, yes, they are parasites, but so are you, because you're human. Humanity is a parasite that feeds upon the earth. You're a parasite as well. If you're gonna call anyone a parasite, call everyone a parasite, you stupid fucking goddamn motherfucking retard! You always have to understand that. You always have to understand that this system only exists because of consistency of imperialism that destroys and oppresses peoples of color all over the world. The empire is dead. As an Englishman, it, it does kind of hurt me somewhat, but yeah, the Empire is fucking dead. It's been dead for for ages upon ages. And, and I'd say at least a hundred years it's been dead. 
and he's and you're just here dragging up blaming and people who live now for the sins of the people who people who are long dead if that's not racism i don't know what fucking is you absolute dipshit you have to hold them accountable to that if you really think that they're your real friend or your real mother okay this person should be able to understand that it should be real easy for them to understand that but white people do not like to talk about race and do not like to deal with race because it makes them uncomfortable and as a privileged people they don't like to feel uncomfortable last i checked no one likes being uncomfortable people just generally enjoy being comfortable more than uncomfortable it's a natural thing it's safety people being comfortable means they feel safe, and therefore they like being safe. That's human nature. That's not just, oh, that's not just white paper things. It's goddamn motherfucking human goddamn nature. You stupid, 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 stupid person. God damn it! But do you know what what really gets me? What really makes makes me get at going stupidity people like you absolute idiots but i don't want but it doesn't make me uncomfortable i don't want to talk it doesn't make me not want to talk about it it makes me want to grab you by the goddamn hair drag you into the sunlight and watch you burn like, like the vampire you are you absolute idiot the stuff you are talking about is horseshit you have no citation you have no evidence. The citation you get Abe, is both biased and nothing to do what, with what you're on about. You're just being an asshole and a racist for no goddamn motherfucking reason. You absolute fruitcake. Get the fuck off my screen. And as an oppressed people, we don't like to make them feel uncomfortable. Well. You seem to be taking quite great pleasure in attempting to do so. Now, don't you? Or maybe you're just too stupid to realise you're di disproving your own statements with your own fucking actions. You absolute god damn... Oh, fuck it. I, I've, I've, I've called you an idiot enough. The point is proven, you stupid. Hmm. Girl, get out of here. Alright, you guys. So that's my comeback video. I hope you like it. I make a video every Monday. This nigga dumb. So, anyway, yeah. This is about as much as I can take of this stupid piece of shit. Anyway. Special thanks to Dante for um, the new intro. Thanks for anyone, for anyone who's watching. And if. If you want to see more of me, I, I often cameo with um, J Ross over on his Twitter, so, not his Twitter, um, his Twitch. So if you want to, want to hear me over there, you can go there. So till we next we meet, catch on the flip side.